Okay, so we're going to assemble the uh, the back part of the uh, Civil War camp chair. I have here the two fatter legs, the two and a quarter pieces here by the 33 and a quarter with the angle end on them. I'm going to put the angle end up. Now you'll notice a bunch of holes in this one. That's because I'm using my, I'm, I'm recycling one to do this. So please don't drill a bunch of holes in your board. They don't belong yet. But the first thing I'm going to do is do a measurement down from the top here. From this edge, 17 and a quarter and 18 and a half. And we remember when we're marking these things, we're marking them with a V at the point of contact. 17 and a quarter, 18 and a half. Okay. I'm going to put a uh, <coughs> going to put a line through that. Do both of those. Make sure you keep your pieces even. I'm going to put a line through those two V's. Okay. And that'll be the last piece of my slats going in. I'm also making measurements this way. I'm making, I've already got them written down there. It's eight and three quarters, 10 and a half, and 11 and three quarters. Once I've made those measurements, on the eight and three quarters, I'm gonna take the square, make a square line through both boards. It's best to do this with both boards together, because they much more accurate. And I put an X on the right side of those two lines, okay? On the 11 and 3 quarters, I'm going to make an X on the left side of those two lines. This is for our bottom piece to go in, okay? Then the 10 and a half in the middle, 10 and a half line in the middle, actually has to get carried through to the other sides. I'm just going to make a little tick here on the side, roll the pieces over, and carry that 10 and a half line to the back of the board. You see what I'm doing? I'm making a little tick back here. This is all reference from the point end because that's the reference point for the whole chair. So a little tick back here. I'm gonna put that, that little tick I just made, I make, a, I make a square line across the back. I can just line them up again, do two square lines across the back, like that, and put the X to the left of those lines. Those are for all the two inch boards that are gonna be. Okay, I got an update on the chair here. Uh, because I made these parts here narrower than usual, it didn't sit quite right. So I readjusted the one dimension on this back one. In the, in the video, it shows it at 10 and a half up. I changed it to 11 inches up from the point that way. And the 11 inches gives it a nice, even feel when you sit down. So that's a change you're going to have to catch. I will hopefully get this into the video. Thank you. Going together after we assemble this thing. All right. So now, my parts are all marked out. You see the marks I've got there for my slats? I'm grabbing the slats with the hole drilled close to the end. Not the wide ones, not those, but the ones, the narrow ones with the hole drilled close to the end, okay? I'm taking this over like this. I'm spreading my parts apart the distance the chair needs to be. Okay, like that. And I would pre-drill them. In this case, I'll just demonstrate really quickly because the holes are already drilled in this. But I like to pre-drill into the board I'm going into. This is a really, this is a really fancy pre-drill bit. You can use any small bit you want to. And you want to make sure you hold your piece here flush. That means even with this side and this side before you pre-drill. Just drill the one hole. Don't try and drill multiple holes. You may drive yourself crazy doing that. Okay, put the screw in that one hole. If all you have is a drill at home, you may be drilling and changing out to drive screws for a little while until you get this thing squared away, all right? So now, I'm going to the right side here, doing the same thing. I wanna make it even to the, this side and even to the top. Drilling a hole. Okay, putting in a screw. That's done. Now I'm going down to that seven, 17 and a quarter and 18 and a half mark I did further down the board there. See that? I'm going down to that one now. This is my last slat I'm putting on my board. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna hold it nice and even on this end and with the pencil lines you've got there. Just like that. See that? There's the pencil marks you made right across those and even with the end. Gonna drill a hole. 
Make sure it's a small enough bit you're pre-drilling with, probably an eighth inch or less, so that you don't just strip out the hole. Now, with you using a, a, a driver like I'm using here, this is actually specifically for driving screws. It's not a drill. It has a hexagon opening here. You fit a bit into it, and it's specifically for driving. It also has a hammer attachment to it. It actually hammers the screws in a little bit. But if you don't pre-drill and you start using a tool like this, you may split your boards all the way out. Okay, so there's the other one there. I've held it. I'm holding, I've got to drill. Holding it even. Drilling the hole. And putting the screw in. These are inch and five-eighth screws I'm using. And the reason being is that you don't need to go through the board too much, but you don't want to go through the board too little. So... That's the screw going into the board there. I'll drive it in really quick and show you. That goes in about an inch. Okay, that's a good depth to go in. Anything more than that might split. Anything less than that might um, not bite well enough and come pulling out. So that's an inch and five eight screw I'm using for this right here. Okay. So now we look down where I've been here. Okay. And I'm going to use one of the slats, I can use one with the wide holes now, as a spacer. I put it in between the next slat, like that. See that? So it's, spa it's spacing me. I'm holding myself as even as I can. Now, it's not quite so critical on the even part because you have your first and last slats done now. So the size of your chair is already decided. So I'm pre-drill. And screw that in. Now, in this case, I already drilled holes, but the ends of my boards weren't even, so by pre-drilling, I'm making sure I'm getting right, getting into the right hole. Okay. Okay, so you're going to keep doing that. You're going to take a slat, put it in. Actually, that's kind of a bent slat. Let's get a straight slat here as best we can. It'll go in snug and be hard to plow a little bit if you do it right. Put the slat back in, grab the skinny one, and put it here, okay? Pre now you can, if you hold it tight, you probably could pre-drill both holes on this one without a problem. Once you've established what you're going to do, you're pretty safe to keep going that way. Okay, keep holding it tight. A little tedious it seems tedious but you're doing your job well if you're if you're staying focused on it you may see some variation on the boards at this point if you don't if you didn't quite drill straight So now we're going to grab our two inch pieces with the short holes drilled in them. See that? Okay, I'm going to drill the two inch pieces. You see, we made the marks with the X's. We're going to cover those X's with the boards. Okay, now in this case, the board's going to sit right against this slat, and that's okay. If, you're, if your line's a little off, that's okay. Just make sure you're sitting against this slat here tight. 
This one here needs to go to the line like that. Okay. And we'll pre-drill those. Now in this case, I only want you to put one screw in each of these ends to start with. And I'll explain to you why in a second. All right, so I'm gonna put one screw in each of those boards, sit on the lines covering the X's. So we understand that. This is critical because otherwise your chair could be out of square. Now out of square means that it's not 90 degree angles. It could literally be, your chair could literally be like that slightly. You don't want that. You want it to be even and square, okay? So what we're gonna do now is before I put the last four screws in here, I put the last four screws into these, I'm gonna measure across the corner of this chair. I'll go from that far corner, I'll get the slats out of the way here. I'm gonna measure from the very far corner there, okay, to the very far corner here on the point. You see that? And I've got about a little bit shy of 37 inches. I'm gonna do the same on this side, right here. And I'm perfect right now, I'm square. I'm a little bit, these, these measurements, corner to corner, corner to corner this way, should be equal. If they're equal, that means your thing is square like this. If they're unequal, it means it's doing like this. So mine's equal now. All I have to do is set the other four screws in these, in these slats, and it will hold it square forever. A whole lot of single screws won't do that. It won't stay square. But when you add the double screws to these boards here, it will stay square. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I'm going to set those screws. There we have the completed table lay, the complete, completed back of our chair. Everybody see that? Okay.